Have you ever wondered how many species disappear from our planet each year? It's a question that might not cross our minds in the hustle and bustle of daily life, but it's one of utmost importance. Our world is a sprawling tapestry of life, a delicate balance of interconnected species, each playing a unique role in the grand scheme of our ecosystem. From the tiniest of insects to the largest of mammals, every creature contributes to the biodiversity that sustains life as we know it. But what happens when parts of this tapestry begin to unravel? An endangered species is one that's at risk of vanishing forever, teetering on the brink of extinction. This isn't a natural occurrence, but a dire consequence of human activity. Habitat loss, pollution, climate change, overhunting and overfishing, these are human-induced factors pushing numerous species towards oblivion. The rate at which species are spiraling into endangerment is alarming. Every 24 hours, we lose approximately one to two species. That's right, each day, one to two species are wiped off the face of the Earth, never to be seen again. The stark reality is that we're living through the planet's sixth mass extinction event, the first to be caused by a species, us. Endangered species aren't merely numbers or statistics, they're irreplaceable threads in the fabric of life, integral to the health of our ecosystems. They pollinate our plants, control pests, decompose waste, and even inspire scientific and medical breakthroughs. The loss of a single species can set off a domino effect, disrupting the balance and potentially leading to the collapse of entire ecosystems. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? But it's crucial to understand the gravity of the situation. The existence of these species hangs in a delicate balance, and the scales are tipped against them. Our actions, or inaction, are determining their fate. As we venture further into this discussion, let's remember that we are not powerless. We're the cause, but we can also be the solution. Our actions today will determine the fate of countless species tomorrow. To understand the gravity of this situation, we need to delve into some facts and figures. Let's begin with a global perspective. Currently, there are more than 27,000 species that are threatened with extinction. This number equates to over a quarter of all assessed species on our planet. Take a moment to let that sink in. One in every four species is at risk of disappearing forever. Now, let's talk about the rate of extinction. It's estimated that species are becoming extinct at a rate 1,000 to 10,000 times higher than the natural rate. This means that dozens of species are disappearing every single day. The speed at which we're losing these species is truly alarming. Next, let's consider the geographic distribution of endangered species. Where are these species primarily located? Well, the countries with the highest number of endangered species are Indonesia, Madagascar, and Brazil. These countries are all known for their rich biodiversity, but they're also facing the highest threats to their wildlife. Indonesia, home to the Sumatran tiger and the Bornean orangutan, tops the list with nearly 2,000 threatened species. Madagascar, the only place on Earth where lemurs are found in the wild, follows closely with over 1,000 threatened species. Lastly, Brazil, with its vast Amazon rainforest, is home to more than a thousand endangered species, including the Brazilian merganser and the maned wolf. But why should we care about these numbers? Why should it matter to us if there are fewer species of frogs or birds or mammals? Well, each species plays a unique role in the ecosystem in which it lives. They all contribute to the balance of nature and losing any of them disrupts that balance, with repercussions that can be felt globally. These numbers are not just statistics, they represent lives hanging in the balance. We need to remember this as we continue to explore the plight of endangered species and discuss what we can do to help. Now you might be asking, why are these species becoming endangered? Well, let's delve into the main culprits. One of the primary causes is habitat loss. As we expand our cities and farms, we're encroaching on the natural homes of wildlife. For instance, the Sumatran tiger's tropical forest home in Indonesia is being converted into palm oil plantations, leaving these majestic creatures with nowhere to roam. Climate change is another big factor. Changes in temperature and weather patterns can drastically affect ecosystems. Take the polar bear, for instance. As sea ice melts due to rising global temperatures, their hunting grounds are disappearing, making it harder for them to find food. Overexploitation is yet another cause. Overhunting and overfishing have led to drastic declines in species numbers. The Atlantic bluefin tuna, prized in sushi, is a prime example. Decades of uncontrolled fishing have brought this species to the brink of extinction. And then there's pollution. From oil spills to plastic waste, pollution is wreaking havoc on our wildlife. A heartbreaking example is the vaquita, 
a small porpoise species in the Gulf of California. With fewer than 20 remaining, they're on the edge of extinction, largely due to entanglement in fishing gear and pollution. Invasive species also pose a significant threat. These are non-native species that outcompete or prey on native species, leading to their decline. For example, the brown tree snake, accidentally introduced to Guam after World War II, has decimated the island's bird population. Each of these causes has a common thread human activity. Whether we're clearing forests for agriculture, spewing carbon into the atmosphere, overfishing our oceans, or polluting our environment, we're the ones driving these changes. But it's not all doom and gloom. By understanding the causes, we can start to make changes. We can protect habitats, reduce our carbon emissions, manage our resources sustainably, and clean up our act. Our actions, directly or indirectly, contribute to these causes. It's a sobering thought, but also a call to action. After all, if we're the problem, we can also be the solution. The loss of these species has far-reaching effects that go beyond their individual survival. When we talk about the extinction of species, we're not merely discussing the disappearance of unique creatures. We're talking about the unraveling of the intricate tapestry of life. Every thread, every species, plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance and health of our planet's ecosystems. Imagine a forest, where a particular species of bird thrives. These birds are the primary predators of a certain kind of insect. Now, if these birds become extinct, the insect population can skyrocket, leading to an overconsumption of the plants they feed on. This could, in turn, disrupt the life cycles of other species dependent on those plants. This is the concept of a trophic cascade, a domino effect that can reshape entire ecosystems when one species vanishes. The loss of species also means a loss in biodiversity. Biodiversity is nature's safety net. It's the variety of life that helps ecosystems recover from disasters, resist diseases, and adapt to change. When we lose species, we weaken this safety net, making our planet's ecosystems more vulnerable to collapse. But the impact doesn't stop at the environment. It hits home, affecting human life as well. Many of the foods we eat, the air we breathe, the water we drink, and even the medicines we use are products of biodiversity. Honeybees, for example, are vital for pollinating crops. Without them, our food supply would be at risk. Moreover, each species holds potential for scientific discovery. They may hold the key to breakthroughs in medicine, technology, or sustainable practices. By losing them, we lose the opportunity to learn and innovate. To sum it up, the loss of species is not just about them. It's about us. It's about the health and resilience of our planet. It's about the sustainability of our resources and the potential for our future. It's a complex, interconnected web of life, and each species is an integral part of it. Every species plays a unique role in the web of life, and their loss creates a ripple effect. Despite the grim situation, there's still hope. We can make a difference. The fate of endangered species isn't solely in the hands of scientists or conservationists, but rather it's a shared responsibility. We all have a part to play in the preservation and protection of our planet's biodiversity. Individuals can help in numerous ways, Small actions like reducing, reusing, and recycling can have a substantial impact. Choosing sustainable products, eliminating single-use plastics, and reducing our carbon footprint are all steps in the right direction. It's about making conscientious decisions that protect our planet and its inhabitants. Communities, too, play a pivotal role. By supporting local conservation efforts, engaging in habitat restoration projects, and participating in citizen science initiatives, we can make a tangible difference. Community gardens, cleanup events, and education programs can all contribute to the protection of local wildlife and their habitats. Governments also have a crucial role to play. Enforcing stricter regulations on pollution, deforestation, and overfishing can protect vulnerable species from harm. Policy changes that prioritize conservation, allocate funding towards research, and establish protected areas can make a world of difference. Yet, all these efforts would be in vain if we don't raise awareness about the importance of biodiversity. Education is key. By understanding the causes of endangerment and the impact of losing species, we can inspire others to act, share information, engage in conversations, and use your voice to advocate for change. Moreover, let's not forget the power of our wallets. Support businesses that prioritize sustainability and conservation. Make donations to organizations that work tirelessly to protect endangered species. Every dollar spent is a vote for the kind of world we want to live in. The future of these species, and ultimately our own, is in our hands. Let's remember that our actions today will shape the world of tomorrow. 
It's not just about saving endangered species. It's about preserving the rich tapestry of life on Earth and ensuring a healthy, vibrant planet for generations to come.